everyone. Uh, finished uh, painting up my uh, this 3D printed uh, version of Fred from Zombicide. Um, it's got the good old cricket stick and all that. Uh, Fred, aka Simon Pegg from Shaun of the Dead. Uh, very fun to paint. Very easy actually to paint. Um, I'm hiding the colors here real quick. This is his uh, survivor card here. We'll do that real quick. He starts off in the blue with Reaper Combat, which means that um, when he kills one zombie, or walker, or zombie, whatever, um, you take an additional zombie of that same kind. So if, it, if he kills one walker and there's another walker in that zone, he can take an additional uh, walker off. So two for one, pretty much. Um, then he gets that action, then the free combat action in orange, and then he has Dreadnought Walker. Dreadnought's pretty cool because Dreadnought means uh, that you ignore the wounds of a certain uh, zombie. For this one, it's the walker. So if a walker get walker attacks him and you know tries to cause him a wound, it's ignored. So and it could be Dreadnought Runner, Dreadnought Fatty, or whatever. So this was really cool skill to have. Um, so he's pretty much looks like he's more of a tank kind of player here because of uh, the one die combat. And a one uh, one free combat action and so forth. So very powerful dude. Um, I like this guy. You will see him in the prison outbreak and uh, future other future games or whatever. So, anyways, now back to uh, the paint. I used uh, the good old Vallejo uh, German uh, field gray uh, for his pants. Black obviously for the shoes. Um, then I used a pale yellow for the color of the cricket stick. So. And then I went to the speed paints here from Army Painter. Zealot, yellow for his hair. And then the High Lord blue for his tie and the headband he's got there. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, and then the blood red for obviously blood splattering. I didn't go as overboard as his, uh, as his uh, survivor card here. But um, yeah, uh, looking forward to get this guy out there. So if you guys have any comments or whatever, let me know. Um, I know... Some people frown on the 3D printed stuff for Zombicide or whatever, but hey, uh, to get his actual d legit Survivor, it'll cost me 80 to 100 bucks. Uh, it's a very rare uh, miniature to get, so and I'm not willing to spend that, so I'll just go ahead and use this version right here, and it's very similar to, to the Survivor, the original Survivor. So there's no copyright infringements or anything on these uh, 3D printed things, so. Uh, I still don't understand that. Totally different pose, different name on all that stuff. So, looks very similar as all. So, anyways, uh, and 3D printing seems to be the way to go on a lot of stuff. So, and um, that's all. But uh, you're going to see him on the table, and um, we'll go from there. Uh, look for uh, some more Zombicide Survivors in the future here. I'm painting away as fast as I can. So, all right, little slideshow, uh, like two photos, whatever, and then that's it. You guys take care and have a good week. Bye.